In this session, we're going to focus on imported modules and imported functions. Each module is a Python program file containing related information. It can contain one or more functions. The benefit of placing a function inside of a module is to separate blocks of code from our main program. That's a way of dividing our code into logical sections. We import existing code from our main program or import built-in code provided by Python. There are different ways to import. We can import using keyword from and keyword import. If you want the transcript PDF document, I will place it on GitHub. Also, you can follow me on Twitter, connect with me on LinkedIn and Facebook. Also, you can subscribe to my channel. Placing our function inside of a module separated from our main program allows us to hide the details of the code. In this module called module converters, I have a print statement, a variable, and two functions. The functions are yards to feet and feet to yards. They are converter functions. Notice this other module called module main. It is empty, but I am going to import module converters. The purpose of import is to use code from another file. When we import, it will execute all of the code, including the print statement. Go back to this empty file and write import. We're going to import the module converters file. Leave off the .py extension. If I run right now, the console shows import converters module. When Python reads this import statement line, it tells Python to open the module converters file and copy all of the data from module converters into module main. To call a function or variable, we can write module converters, then the dot operator. The dot operator provides access to each function and variable. That's why we see tutorial, yards to feet, and feet to yards. Select tutorial, then print the value for tutorial. This time when I run, we see import converters module. This is a Python import tutorial. The good part about Python, we can specify a nickname for a module, function, or class. I'm going to start over and write import module converters as. The keyword as allows us to rename a module, function, or class. Since the module name is long, let's rename module converters to MC. Now when I write MC, then the dot operator, we still see the variable and both functions. Select yours to feet and pass in 10. 10 represents the number of yards that will be converted to the number of feet. So far, we see how to import the entire module. These two import statements copy all of the data from a module. However, we can also import an individual function or variable by writing from. At this point, we need to write the module name, which is module converters, then import. Some people import everything from a module by writing an asterisk. However, this is not recommended because it copies all of the code just like the previous two statements. The recommended way is to import one function at a time. How about feature yards? Now, we do not have to write the module name and the dot operator. We can write 
feet to yards. Then pass in 10. That's all we need because we imported that individual function feet to yards. Also, print the values. The first converter will print the number of feet by converting 10 yards to feet. And the second converter will print, uh oh, <laughs> will print the number of yards by converting 10 feet to yards. Let's run. And the console shows 30 feet and 3.33 yards. It's the same. It's equal to each other. We can also create an alias for a function by writing as FTY. Notice there's an error on the feet to yards because we must also rename it to FTY. However, I'm going to remove the nickname because it's not descriptive. And erase. And that's how we have feet to yards. Now, in addition, when it comes to individual functions, we can also add many values separating each function by a comma. So if we wanted to add another function, write a comma, and we can select yards to feet. Now, it's the same process if we wanted to import classes and built-in functions for Python. It's the same way as importing modules and important functions. Thanks for importing, thanks for watching, and I will see you in the next session.